people today are destroyed. The scripture says, the ox knoweth his, the ox knoweth his master, and the ass his master's crib. Two very dumb animals know who their master is. Right. The donkey knows his master's crib. Right. But the Lord said, my people doth not consider. Right. My people are destroyed. Blacks and Latinos don't consider who their master is. Why? Because we, are, we have been destroyed by the oppressor. Right. We have been destroyed just like the white man destroyed the capital the other day. Right. That's how they destroyed us. You understand? We don't know who our master is. White people, they know who their master is. Right. They know that Trump is their master. That's who they follow. And they refuse to let him be taken down from being president. Right. But blacks and Latinos, we don't know our master. Right. We don't know who to follow. We think Kamala Harris is someone to, to, to follow. Right. right. We think Joe Biden is someone to follow. Right. right. Donald Trump, George Bush, Christian pastors. These people cannot lead us out of this state that we are in. In order to be led out of this captivity, we got to come back to God. That's right. You out there on drugs, suffering, depressed, destroyed in the hood, praying to God, praying that he gives you a job. Well, today God is on Hollywood Boulevard. Right. Today the prophets of God are out on the streets. So if you want God, if you want to know God, come and grab a flyer. Come learn the truth. Come learn how to serve God. Because money, Instagram likes, Facebook popularity is all going to fail when Christ comes back. Right. It's all going to fail when the race wars crack off. Right. It's all going to fail. None of that is going to matter. You understand? The only thing that's going to matter, who you stand with. Right. Are you going to stand with your Latino Trump supporting, Trump supporting family members with your Joe Biden? family members who support Joe Biden? Bruh. Are you going to stand with, with money? Are you going to stand with guns? None of that matters. If you're not standing with your God, with your God, then you, then you are going to die along with the other nations who God is going to destroy for you. Right. The nations Bruh. who oppressed you, who stole your land, who took your identity, who gave you bywords, you understand? If you join them, you're going to be destroyed with them. But if you turn to the Most High and keep His laws, statutes, and commandments, you're going to live in that terrible day when Christ returns. Let me get Ezekiel 35 and 3. We're going to go into the Bible. We're going to see what God says about His chosen people. A lot of people don't know that the Bible is not talking about everybody. It's talking about one specific nation. And that's the nation of Israel. Right. And we are here to speak to you Israelites today. We are here to wake you up out of the dust that you're in, this low condition that you're in. Right. Black people are special people, man. That's Latinos right. are special. North American Indians are special. There's something about us that people cannot put their finger on. But yet, we are at the bottom of society. We make America rich, but we are not rich. Right. We make America prosper, but we cannot prosper. Right. We allow them to prosper, but they don't allow us to prosper, man. That's right. And that's in the Bible. Right. Read that right. up. Okay. 35 verse, verse 3? Okay. 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 The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 3. And say unto it, thus saith the Lord. Read it again. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 34. So like it. But chapter 35, verse 3, and say unto it. God said, say unto it. God is talking about America. This is a prophecy inside the Bible. Read. Come on, God. Thus saith the Lord God, behold, O Mount Seir. O what? O Mount Seir. O what? O Mount Seir. O what? O Mount Seir. Guess who dwelt in Mount Seir? The Caucasians dwell in Mount Seir. Do your history. Right. That's where white people, the Caucasians, come from. That's right. Mount Seir is talking about America. Read. Hanukkah. 
I am against thee. What did God say? I am against thee. God is against America. God is against America for all the oppression, for all the murder, for all the hypocrisy, for all the abuse against his chosen people, the, the Israelites, blacks, Latinos, and North American Indians. Right. God is against the people who are oppressing you. God is destroying America for you. Right. But yet, if you join America, God is not going to be with you, man. Right. God is going to be against you. Read. I don't care. And I will stretch out my hand against thee. And I will make thee most desolate. And I will what? And I will make thee most desolate. God is going to destroy America for what they did to black people, Hispanics, and North American Indians. God is going to destroy America because they murdered Bri uh, 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 Brianna uh, uh, Taylor. Trayvon, uh, Breonna Taylor because they murdered all of our black brothers in the street. Tamir Rice, Vanessa right. Guillen, right. George Floyd, all the slaves that were murdered in the transatlantic slave trade on the way to the Americas. All the, all the murder that they have done, God is going to destroy it. Why? Because you can't destroy it. Blacks and Latinos and North American Indians, we can't fight against America. They don't even want to give us reparations. They give, but guess what? They gave the Jew, the Jewish man reparations. Bruh. A Jewish man finds a German today who was involved in the murders of his people. Guess what? They're, they're taking his ass to court. Right. Bruh. They're taking him to court with a goddamn, uh, with a goddamn tube in his nose because he's so old he can't breathe. Right. And they're putting him in jail. Right. But black people cannot get reparations. You still can't get justice. But God is going to give you justice, right. whether you want it or you don't. Read. I don't care. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 4. I will lay thy city waste. I don't care. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Read. This is why God is going to destroy America. Just like he destroyed Egypt, just like he destroyed the Roman Empire, the Greek Empire, Every empire has fallen and America is going to fall. But every historian knows this. Go talk to a historian. He's going to tell you America is going to fall. Right. That's right. And it's in the Bible. Go ahead. I don't care. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. That's why God is going to destroy America because America has had a perpetual, a continual hatred for his chosen people. And they, had, and they have shed the blood of his people, man. Read. I don't care. By the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. By the force of the sword. That's talking about that police officer with the gun in his hand sh shooting brothers in the court, shooting what? brothers in the street. You understand? That's talking about the government putting immigrants in ICE detention centers. What? Babies dying in the detention centers. Mothers being forced to get hysterectomies, right. getting their uterus taken out of their stomach so they won't have kids no more. Right. You understand? All the abortions, right. all that is what they're doing against you, and God is against it. Right. 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 God is against America, the white man, anybody following America, thinking that they're going to prosper, thinking that America's going to come back and be great again. It's not going to be great again. Right. Go ahead. Kind of kind. In the time that their iniquity had an end. Kind of kind. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 6. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. And, that's right. what God, and, that, and that is what God is doing right now. He is preparing America unto blood. And that's why you have the coronavirus. Right. Don't nobody, nobody knows where the coronavirus came from. They say it came from a lab. They say it came from eating pork. They say it came from man. Let me tell you this. Um, the virus is killing a lot of people. You understand? And God brought the virus to America. Right. Just like he said he would in the Bible. What's happening right now is prophesied in...